Good morning, everyone. Let's do our calendar together. Do you know what we start with? Our monthly Macarena. Let's do it. January, February, March, and April, May, June, July, and August, September, October, November, and December. These are the months of the year. Look up here and tell me, what is that month? It's M M May. Yes, it's May. Now, we have a new day of the week we need to figure out. Let's do it all together. There are seven days, there are seven days, there are seven days in a week. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. It's not Friday yet. Let's see. Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. You're right, it's Thursday. Now, let's count and see what the number is. Starting at number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's the seventh today. Let me see if I can find the number seven. Do you know what the number seven looks like? Ta-da! Wait a second. Close, Miss Graham. That has a seven in it, but it also has a one, which makes it 17. Not yet. Hmm. I got it this time. Seven. That's right. And the seven goes right beside the six. Great. It's Thursday the seventh. It's May and the year is 2020. Now let's put it together in a big date sandwich. Today is Thursday, May the seventh, 2020. Nice work everyone. Let's move on to our weather. What's the weather? What's the weather? What's the weather like today? Is it sunny? Is it rainy? Is it cloudy out today? Is it windy? Is it snowy? Is it stormy out today? What's the weather? What's the weather? What's the weather like today? I hope it's sunny wherever you are today. Have a good one. Hi everyone, it's Miss Graham. This week is a little bit different. It's special because it's Mother's Day and we have a Mother's Day special for you and your mom to enjoy. Usually, this week at Creative Kids, we'd be really, really busy doing art projects, baking, and getting ready for our Mother's Day tea parties. Since we can't be here and doing that with you, we wanted to give you this special to enjoy. And on behalf of Creative Kids, Happy Mother's Day to all of our special moms out there. Boys and girls, you are my sunshine. You are my sunshine, my only sunshine. You make me happy when skies are gray. You'll never know, dear, how much I love you. Please don't take my sunshine away. The other night, dear, as I was sleeping, I dreamt I held you in my arms. But when I woke up, I was mistaken, and so I hung my head and I cried. You are my sunshine, my only sunshine. You make me happy when skies are gray. You'll never know, dear, how much I love you. Please don't take my sunshine away. Hi everyone, I'm Miss Graham. And guess what? I'm Miss Graham too. <laughs> That's my mom. And today we are going to be making some bath salts for Mother's Day, something that you can make as a gift to your mom for Mother's Day. So what we need to get started is some empty jars, any size, a funnel, a special scent, anything you love, uh, food coloring, colors of your choice, uh, bowls, some spoons to mix, Epsom salts, and anything you'd like to decorate your bottle with. All right, so let's get started. The first things we have here is we are going to be using three different salts today uh, of three different colors, but they're going to smell the same because my mom loves lavender. So we're using lavender <laughs> today. So what we'll do first is we've put our salt into different bowls. You can use one, two, three, or even four. Today we're going to be using three. One, two, three. 
So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to put the smelly stuff, so today it's our lavender or any essential oil, uh, into the bowls. So mom, could you put all of the smelly things into the bowls? Okay. And you only want to use about 15 drops. Today we're just going to pour in just a tiny little bit into each jar. We don't want it to be too smelly. So just a little bit, a little bit. Perfect. And a little bit. There we go. Mm, it smells oh, good. it does. <laughs> That's why it's my favorite. <laughs> and then you need to decide what colors you're going to use. Today we already told you that we're using purple because that's my mom's favorite and we're using red because that's my favorite and we're also going to keep one just white because that's a great color as well. But you can choose any colors. So let's do the colors next. Your turn. Um, did we want to just show the kids that this just doesn't color it? Oh sure, yeah. yeah. So, so the scent doesn't color it at all. It just stays white. Just mix it up and see it still stays white. Perfect. It's the actual food coloring that will change the color. So purple first in our Ooh. bowl number one. Yay. Now if you want it to be very dark purple then mm. you're going to add lots. But if you just wanted a light purple you're going to add a little. <gasps> Whoops. Okay <laughs> let's see how that turns out. Oh my goodness. While you're doing that one, I'll do the red Did and then I we'll show them. Yeah. No, I think it'll be okay. Just you really wait. have to mix this. Oops. <laughs> I can, yeah, see? <laughs> I think oh, like mother, like daughter. Boy. So maybe a little dropper would be a good idea to put this in Oops. with. Because as you can see, <laughs> it up really good. You don't want the salt to be wet. So now we have our colors all mixed up. The salt and the food color made some beautiful colors. I've got red and I have purple. Perfect. And then we also have our last one here which we're just keeping white. So now let's mix them in the jars. This is the fun part. It can get a little messy so make sure you have an adult's help. So we're going to use this jar and we're gonna use that funnel. So put it on there, and let's put it right in front so everyone can see. Uh, what color do you wanna start with? Why don't we start with red? Perfect, okay. So we'll put a little bit of red in, you just scoop it, and it'll fall through the funnel. And like my mom taught me, sometimes with the funnel, you need to shake, shake, shake it so that it goes in really nice. And some funnels do come a little bit bigger, so if you have a bigger one at home, you won't have to do this. I think that's good. So the bottom of our jar has red, but we're not done yet. Next, we're going to do purple. You want to add some purple, Mom? Okay. Good job. I'll shake it for you. Yes, please. Thank you. Teamwork is always better. <laughs> A little bit more? A little bit more? Yeah. Sure. sure. Okay. okay, let's do white. Can you shake it for me? Sure. So this one's a lot easier because it's Ooh, very dry. Yeah. Oh, that looks good. Now, we have the start of a pattern here. I see red, purple, and then I see white. Red, purple, white. Now, we need to continue our pattern. So if we have red, purple, white, we need to start with red again. Let's do it. Oops. <laughs> okay, sorry. Wasn't being very much of a help there. <laughs> I'm all fascinated by what's going on here. Sure, that should be good. Yep. Red. Now we had red, purple, white, red, Purple, you got it. Oh, that was a lot. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and see, we're just shaking it down so it doesn't stay in lumps. So it's going um, nice and flat. Ready? Yep. Purple. I'll try not to put as much in this time. That's good, I think. Yeah? Yeah. Maybe. Maybe just one okay. more. Sure. <laughs> you can do this however you want. It's totally up to you. We're making a really cool pattern. Oh, look. This is looking great. Two, three, and I think one more, maybe two for good luck. Yeah, let's do one more there. <laughs> Perfect. Wow, it looks so Shake beautiful. It down. Yes. Okay, so here's our finished product, and then all you're going to want to do is put the lid on it. 
So I have my lid right here so it stays nice and fresh for mum. And then she can just pour a quarter cup into her bath and it's all ready to go. Now, my mom mentioned that you can decorate it if you want, so I actually have a sample of one that I did right over here, and I just put some lace on it, and I also used some string that I had at home. Uh, it's a little bit different, that one. And then I also have something that I got from the dollar store, and it's these tags. They say, made with love. So if I was giving this to my mom today, I would stick this on right on the top there. Mm -hmm. Beautiful, made with love. And here you go, Mom. Oh, thank you. <laughs> okay, everyone, we hope you enjoyed and have a happy Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day. <laughs>
There's our essential oil. And this one probably only needs about 10 drops of oil instead mm -hmm. of uh, a little bit more for the bath. Okay, ready? So just a little bit. Unfortunately, we don't have a dropper, so I oh, am that's just great. guessing. <laughs> Perfect. And then keep mixing it up really, really good. You want to get a, as many of the big clumps out as you can so that there's just some little ones to scrub with. Mm, it smells wonderful. And then what you're going to do, uh, what we'd usually do is you take your jar, like my mom was talking about earlier, and you're just going to scoop it in there and you can fit as much as you can. Keep pushing it down, shake, shake, shake a little bit. And then what we like to do is we just leave this beside the bathroom sink and whenever your hands are feeling not so soft, your mom can use that. Perfect. You can also decorate it with ribbons. You can even paint the jar if you wanted to. Um, I want to try some and see how this feels. Oh, it's oh, wow. so nice. Yeah. <laughs> High five! <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, guys. Have Thank a good you. one. Hello, friends. I'm Miss Pooja, and today we are going to sing Mother's Day song. Are you ready? I love her and she loves me, and mommy is her name. Mo, M O M M Y, M O M M Y, M O M M Y, and mommy is her name. Oh. Now we are going to clap for every letter. I love her and she loves me and mommy is her name. O, O, M, M, Y, O, M, M, Y, O, M, M, Y, and mommy is her name. O, I love her and she loves me and mommy is her name. O, M, M, Y, M, M, Y, M, M, Y, and mommy is her name. O, I love her and she loves me and mommy is her name. Oh, am I? Am I? Am I? And mommy is her name. Oh, I love her and she loves me and mommy is her name. Oh, why? 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 And mommy is her name. Oh. Good morning everybody. Julia and I are going to make a Mother's Day card and we're going to show you how to. So maybe there's someone at home that can help you make one for your mommy for Mother's Day this weekend. Or maybe mom can help you make one for grandma that you can send off to her. That will make her day. So what we need, um, well here's what we're going to make. It's a cute little bird house. And when you open it up, little birdies are in there. It's so cute. Um, and so what you need is you're going to need um, some colored cardstock. I have some full sheets and some, just some odd pieces that I found lying around for maybe the smaller pieces. And there is a printable, maybe someone can help you um, print it off, of the templates that you're going to need to make this. So I'm going to give one to Julia. And I'm going to make one too. And then there's the other little pieces for the inside. And of course you're going to need some glue. We have glue sticks. And we also have some white school glue that you're going to need uh, to glue on the popsicle sticks. So we'll just keep that aside. Of course, we're going to need some scissors and we're going to be very safe with them. I'm going to show you how. And are you ready to get started? Yes. What color would you like for your birdhouse? I would like purple. Not a problem. That matches your hair. Hi, yes it does. <laughs> and I'm going to use green. That's my favorite color. And what you want to do is you want to fold the piece in half. Just like that. Make sure it has a really good center seam on it like that because that's going to be the center of your card. Okay, and then fold along the dotted line of the template as well. So fold that in half. Use your finger, make sure it's got a good seam on it. Okay, and then pick up the template and you're going to put it on top of the card like that. Make sure it's nice and tight and then with your handy dandy scissors we're going to cut the shape. Now with scissors you want to put about three fingers into the big hole and your thumb into the small one. And Your thumb is always on top and your scissors always point away from you because we don't want anyone to cut their bellies. So with that we want to just cut the templates out and you always turn your paper around 
not your scissors, because remember the scissors are always going to point straight away from you. Turn your paper, not your scissors. And we're going to cut out the template, and this will be the base of your birdhouse. Just like that. Then we have our birdhouse base. So the next thing we want to do is we want to cut out all of these templates, and I've already done, um, I've already done some. So we want a heart, um, and I cut that out of brown. And you can chase around them or just cut them right through the paper like we did for the template. I'm going to do another one here so Julia has one as well. And so there's our brown heart. That's going to be our the little birdie's um, hole to go inside his house or her house. All right, so we can go ahead and glue that on Julia with our glue sticks. And just a little bit of glue right on the heart like that. I'll flip it over and just put it right there. Okay, and then you want to um, figure out who you're sending it to. So, um, Julia, are you going to send it to your mom or your grandma? Grandma. Grandma. Now, do you call your grandma grandma? No, I call her mem. You call her mem. So there, on the template, there's a blank one there, and we need a pen. And here's a pen. Thank you. And you can write mem on yours. And I'm going to write mom on mine because I can actually write mom. If you can write mom, that's probably the best thing to do. You spell mom M. O. M. Just like that. Or you can use the paper one that comes with the printable. Okay, do you want to stick that on with your glue stick? And then we're going to stick on the roof and the base of the birdhouse, and we need the school glue for that. So school glue can be a very drippy, but it should come with a little nozzle, and you're going to need three popsicle sticks. You can get popsicle sticks at the dollar store. And you want to just do a line of glue, just like that. It doesn't need too much. Just where you want to stick the popsicle sticks, so one on each of the points of the roof and one on the base, and Julia can do hers too. And just line those up on the edge of your paper, just like that. And then we have the front of your card. So we need to put in the middle. Now on the template that we've printed, it either says, like on this one, you make our house a home. And then there's maybe the mommy birdie and maybe you. And the other part of the printable, it says, Happy Mother's Day. So I'm going to put that one on in here. And then now we need to make our birdies. What kind of birdies would you like to make, Julia? Blue. And there's some blue, and there's the template, and you can just cut around that. You're making both blue? Yes. Okay, I'm going to make some yellow birds. I have some yellow here. And then once you've cut out your birds, they should be facing each other, because they love each other, just like you love your mom. Right, Julia? Right. <laughs> and these tiny little hats that are on the template here, are the bird's wings. So we're going to cut those out too. And then once your hearts are cut out, stick them on the birds like that. And then it looks like they're wings. And then just maybe a tiny little um, yellow or orange beak triangle for either of your birds. Just like that, and of course you need your marker, because the birds need little eyes. And you could do little feet too, just like that. And then of course, you want to do your name. Love, and then can you write your own name? 
you should write your own name in here. Don't write my name. That won't work. And there you have your Mother's Day Birdhouse Mother's Day card. Aren't they cute? I hope you enjoy making them too. Today we're reading Llama Llama Mrs. Mama by Anna Dudney. Llama Llama, warm in bed, wakey wakey, sleepy head. Llama school begins today, time to learn and time to play. Make the bed and find some clothes, brush the teeth and blow the nose. Eat some breakfast, clean the plate, whoops, oh my, we're running late. Drive to school and park the car, tell the teacher who you are. Meet new faces, hear new names, see new places, watch new games. Hang the coat and say goodbye. Llama Llama feeling shy. Mama Llama goes away. Llama Llama has to stay. Strange new teacher, strange new toys, lots of kids and lots of noise. What would Llama like to do? Llama Llama feels so new. Build a castle out of blocks, make a rocket from a box. Llama Llama shakes his head, Llama walks away instead. Here's a little chug a chew with a captain and a crew. Would the llama like a ride? Llama Llama tries to hide. Reading stories on the rug, kids are cuddled, sitting snug. Would Llama like to take a look? Llama Llama hates that book. Time for lunch, now find a seat. Da, Llama doesn't want to eat. Llama makes a little moan. Llama Llama feels alone. Llama misses Mama so. Why did Mama Llama go? It's too much for little Llama. Llama Llama misses Mama. Don't be sad, new little Llama. It's okay to miss your mama, but don't forget when the day is through, she will come right back to you. Llama Llama, please don't fuss. Have some fun and play with us. Put on coat and run outside. See the playhouse, try the slide. Tag and jump rope, hide and seek. Close your eyes and do not peek. Now it's time to draw and write. Great big crayons, colors bright. Take some paper from the stack. Mama Llama, you came back! Teacher gets a goodbye hug, wave to friends on reading rug, climb the playhouse with the slide, see if Mama fits inside. Lots to show and lots to say, back again another day. Llama finds out something new, he loves Mama. And school too. The end. I hope you have all enjoyed all the Mother's Day activities that we've put on for you this week. This week at Creative Kids we would have been hosting a lot of Mother's Day tea parties around our preschools and at the hall and I wanted to be able to share with you how you can do that at home. Maybe you can set up a tea party for your mom for Mother's Day. So typically what we do at Creative Kids for Mother's Day is we have some trays of treats. Uh, maybe you can make some of the things that we've shown you how to make this week um, or even last week with Miss Hammond's fruity cones. They looked really yummy and would be perfect for Mother's Day. You don't necessarily need a tea set, but if you have one at home, again, you might need a grown-up to help you get it. Um, you can use a tea set. Otherwise, any kind of little cups or things that you can find at home just to fancy up your dining table might be a nice idea. So obviously, we need some flowers. Make sure mom has some flowers for Mother's Day and our tea set, and little spoons, and a sugar bowl, and a little milk jug, and just make it look pretty. And then you can sing your songs that we taught you this week, and make her card and a gift, and present it to Mommy for Mother's Day. I think that she'll love it. Happy Mother's Day. Thanks so much for watching Watch, Learn, and Grow. Make sure to tune in Monday to Thursday at 10 a.m. for more fun and excitement. Make sure you follow us on Facebook and Instagram, as well as subscribe to our new YouTube channel. We'll see you all soon. Enjoy.